Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna share about three God stories of what God did while I was in LA for those three weeks and just kind of paint a more beautiful picture of one, the goodness of God, the faithfulness of God, and just to invite you guys in a little bit more into some of the miraculous moments that I experienced. So let's jump right on into it. I'm gonna go ahead and try to jump into story number two. This one's a little more brief. I, while I was in LA for those three weeks, I was taking a lot of Ubers. And something about me, as I'm sure you guys can tell, I love to talk. I love people. My heart, my heart just burns for people and making people feel seen and known and treasured and loved, like in any given moment, whether it's a brief interaction. Given I'm not always like on in the tent, I'm human at the end of the day, but that is something that I really try to be intentional with anytime I'm personally in an uber is just like striking up a little bit of conversation and just acknowledging their presence and the way that they're serving me they're giving me a ride so anyways i was in i have a lot of uber like miraculous stories but i'm going to share this one because i felt like it was so significant to me and really just reminded me of just how much we as followers of jesus really emulate the love of jesus even when we don't know it and so I got in this Uber and it was literally like the shortest Uber ride ever. It was like maybe an eight to 10 minute drive, like so short. And I'm in this Uber and immediately I'm like, hi, like, how are you? How's your day? What's, what's going on? Blah, blah, blah. And immediately he is like so taken aback of like, oh my gosh, like you are so friendly. Like, are you from here? And I was like, no, I'm actually from Texas. And he goes, oh, of course, like that makes so much sense. Like you are just so happy and like smiley. Like I hear everyone in Texas is super friendly and has like that Southern hospitality. And I was like, yeah, like that's definitely true. Like in the South, we are very hospitable, smiley. I guess it's just like different culture. And I took this opportunity to say and like boldly proclaim and kind of step out in faith of, yes, like I'm friendly because I'm from Texas, but also I want to share that like my faith is really important to me and I believe in God and I know that that is where a lot of my joy and my strength comes from. And it was such a like brief, brief little statement, like not super weighty, not like super in depth, just like with the joy that I'm emulating right now of like, yeah, like I, I have faith in God and like that's really where a lot of my joy comes from. So yes, it could be a location thing, but also I think it's just a strength that comes from outside of myself. And so he didn't super respond to that. We just like kind of keep kept carrying on our conversation. And you know, before I knew it, like it's time to drop me off and the conversation was very fluid. There was nothing super significant. But as he's proceeding to drop me off, like pull up to the destination, I like can see in the rear view mirror or like, you know, the rear view mirror, I think that's right. He has like tears like welling up in his eyes and he goes, I don't know what it is about having your presence in my car, but it's like making me feel really emotional. And there's something about having you in my car that just makes me feel very seen and cared for. So thank you, Brie, for the light that you are like shining in this very moment. Know that you are having such an impact on me and my day. And he was saying this through tears that were evidently being held back. And I was just so astounded because like I said, like I didn't, I didn't say anything profound. I didn't say anything super specific or like, I don't know, like weighty. I was just simply being myself and I was acknowledging him. I was making him feel seen and appreciated as my Uber driver and engaging in just such simple conversation. But I thanked him so sincerely. I was like, I'm so grateful that you could feel this way. And I just want to share and proclaim that any sense of being seen in this very moment is truly because God sees you first. And so take that with you because you know, I'm getting out of this Uber ride, but God is always with you. Have a blessed day. And it was such a brief interaction, but it was so impactful for me as I proceeded to get out of the car because it was such a incredible reminder of we never know the gravity and the weight that our presence can bring. Even like, I feel like we're always so used to ourselves. We're so used to the way we think, the way we talk, the way we act that we sometimes don't even recognize 
how much of an impact that we can truly have in a moment like because we can't feel what other people are feeling around us but know and remind ourselves that people feel that and people are impacted by that and people are loved by that and cherished by that and experience jesus by that and so even in a moment when you don't realize it like your life is so so incredibly impactful and could change the traje trajectory of absolutely anybody's day or life or eternity and so that was just a moment that I was like, wow, God, you are sending me on mission to love your people while I'm here. And I feel that so evidently while I'm in Austin as well. But it was just like so incredibly special to just be invited into, I don't know, the great work that I feel like God is always calling us all into but even me personally in this story of just to love people and to leave a lasting impact and i think that's also such a reminder is like even a brief moment in interaction with someone could change everything and so never forget or never like overlook the quantity of time that you are in someone's presence because that could be transformative for everything you know like you can change someone's life in one minute and you might not even know through simply smiling or acknowledging or caring or asking so that is that story last little story that i'll share before i wrap up and i go hit the road to go spend some time with my parents is a story of a beautiful older couple that encouraged me so deeply and loved me so well so it was a early Saturday morning. I woke up, went on an early morning walk along the beautiful Pacific coast, and I was starving afterwards and decided to go get some breakfast at my favorite little spot in Los Angeles. Um, it's called Creation Cafe. There's a few locations for those who live in California. So wonderful. Um, I went and got their chia seed pudding. I love chia seed pudding for breakfast. It's so healthy and nutritious. So I'm sitting outside enjoying the beautiful weather and this gorgeous, like beautiful older couple walks by me and the woman proceeds to look me straight in the eyes and she just gives me the biggest smile. And it was so like touching because it wasn't just like a, it was like, I'm intentionally looking at you and I'm smiling at you and I'm acknowledging you. It was like so impactful, you know, when like someone's like smiling into your soul pretty much. That's how it felt. And I just noticed them and they proceeded to go inside and I believe like order breakfast. And so I finished up my breakfast pretty quickly, like within like 15 minutes or so. And I proceeded to go inside because I wanted to go use the bathroom before I walked back home. And I went inside and I encountered this woman again and she just so happened to be waiting in line for the one stall bathroom. So we begin striking up this conversation. She proceeds to tell me that her and her husband are embarking on this wonderful leap of faith of moving to Los Angeles. They are, they live within California, but they live about two or three hours outside of where I was specifically at in Los Angeles. And she proceeds to tell me of just like how her and her husband are on this journey of embarking and following their dreams and just this leap of faith of just leaving and selling their house and moving to Los Angeles simply because of the joy they experienced being by the ocean and the beauty that they have found in the city. So she started sharing this with me and I'm so taken aback because it is ministering to my heart so, so deeply. So I start opening up with her of like, this is so beautiful and this is so encouraging. Thank you for sharing this with me. Like. It's funny that you're saying this because I feel so much like alignment of my love and experiences being here and just how much I just feel like a sense of peace and calmness that I'm not, I'm not always feeling that same sense of peace when I'm in Austin. And it's just been like a beautiful encounter for me to like have such a slower pace of life out here and enjoy the majesty of the ocean and all these wonderful things. And she just looks at me and I mean, we're like talking back and forth, but she looks at me and she goes, Brie, like you are full of so many wonderful things. I can tell just through speaking to you, like you are all good things in human form. And I just want to encourage you, follow the joy, follow the joy. 
whatever that joy is for you, whatever dream that is within your heart, follow the joy and everything else will follow. I promise there is nothing to fear. There's nothing to worry about. Follow the joy. It really is that simple. When we listen to ourselves, we will be taken to the places and to the dreams and the desires that are so innately within you. And she just looked at me and she's like, Brie, like I believe in you. I really believe in you. And I believe in every obstacle you may feel like you have to overcome in order to get to the places you want to go. But I believe in you and I know that you're going to do wonderful things. And I hope to see you back out here very soon. And so that was just so deeply encouraging because that encouragement was so simple of follow the joy. And of course there was extensions that came along with that conversation. But at the end she said, follow the joy. She gave, proceeded to give me her phone number. and. Like later that week when I was back in Austin, she texted me this long paragraph of how much she missed me and my presence and was so blessed by that encounter with me. And I got to meet her husband too. And they were just so kind, like made a joke about how like, oh yeah, like you must, you must have a hard time making friends. Obviously kidding because I'm so outgoing or I lean towards being more outgoing and talkative with strangers. Um, but it was just a beautiful encounter that I felt like really deeply ministered to me in that moment and was everything I needed to hear in that present moment in time. And so I share all of this as a token of encouragement and to remind you guys of the goodness of God in all things in every area. And like I always share, this is just a glimpse with every story I share. Ooh dropped my lip gloss um with every story i share there's always so much more to it i just wanted to invite you guys into some of these miraculous moments to be such an encouragement of how good and big our god is and how much he wants to show up for all of us not just me and absolutely every single detail of our lives so be encouraged be loved know that you are cared for by the same god that has been so specific with me and so I love you guys. Thank you for being a part of my journey and loving me so incredibly well. You guys mean the world to me and above and beyond that. I love you guys with all of my heart and I pray that that can be felt in this moment. And I will talk to you guys and invite you guys into more of my life very soon. Bye my loves. Mwah. <laughs>